dear viewers, it's another wonderful Monday and this is a virtual show on Value Chain TV. My name is Patience Moses, your host of the show. Well, as usual, I have the newspaper review segment and the entertainment segment. And today's entertainment segment is not the usual because I'm having a guest artist here in the studio. So I want you to wait patiently for that particular segment. Alright, um, I wish, I, I hope your week was great. Mine was awesome. Now, let's sit and relax as every other segment unfolds. And um, for today, we're going to start with the newspaper review segment. Today's newspaper review segment will begin with the first news newspaper and the story here says Tinubu's efforts insufficient Nigerians are hungry this is coming from Oji Kalu who is also advocating for 90,000 minimum wage still on the first newspaper NAND NAPTAN urge FG unions to avert universities shutdown amid impending strikes SEC foresees $2.6 trillion boom in sustainable finance, urges investors to seize green opportunity. And um, lastly, on First News newspaper, Tinubu calls for staying action against civil servants receiving salaries after traveling abroad. Away from the First newspaper, we move to the Daily Sun. And the big story here, Tinubu goes after civil servants earning salaries without working. Fingers people living outside Nigeria but still on FG's pay roll says affected persons to refund illegally earned wages to government coffers. Now this is found on page 6 of the Daily Sun newspaper. Um, and this is on a sad note. Fire God's Christ Embassy Church headquarters in Lagos. NLC kicks against decentralization of minimum wage negotiation. Cholera outbreak. Avoid Kunu, Zobo, Fura, Donono, others. And this is coming from the Minister of Health. 15 states to witness flooding warns FG. Now this is on the page, on page 27 of the Daily Sun newspaper. And uh, we are moving away from the Daily Sun newspaper to the Vanguard newspaper. And the big story here says textile industry faces total collapse as revival efforts Fail. Sector's GDP contribution in steady decline. 96.5% of textile products in Nigerian markets are imported. Markets flooded with fake fabrics from China. Enforce Executive Order 003. Now, this is coming from the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN. Labor tells Governor. And uh, FG unveils $3.5 billion revamp plan to create, to, to create 20,000 jobs. Still on the Vanguard newspaper, we have Dangote accuses IOCs of plotting failure of its refinery. Um, civil servants collecting salaries after relocating abroad must refund money. And this is from the federal government. Away from the Vanguard newspaper, we move to the Daily Independent newspaper. And the big story here says CBN year end 21.4% inflation mark unrealistic may hit 40%. This is coming from economic experts. And they say that skyrocketing flawed inflation may crash economy soon. And also, they are asking physical authority to be proactive over high food prices. Zamfara moves to swell number of non viable airports in Nigeria and the state's government is building beyond their capacity. Now this is coming from analysts. Still on the Daily Independent, Reps writes Tinubu demand release of Namdi Kanu. Tinubu seeks reform from civil servants drawing salaries after relocating abroad. An NPC sets to deliver a gas revolution with OB3 gas pipeline project 
And finally, from the Daily Independent newspaper, NDLEA raids snake guarded shrine used to store illicit drugs. Now, this is on page 6 of the Daily Independent newspaper. Okay, so that was it on the newspaper review segment. So many stories, and uh, we hope that things are getting better in this nation. All right, so on this note, we are moving to the entertainment segment. I want you to wait and meet my guest artist. Okay, thank you so much, my awesome audience. Thank you for staying tuned and waiting patiently for the entertainment segment. And like I promised, I'll be having a guest access here in the studio. So this segment is going to be explicit. Well, let me let him do the introduction. Hello. Hey, thank you for having me. Okay, so how have you been? I've been good. Thank I've you been. also for honoring my invitation. Yeah. So I, I would like you to give us a very brief introduction about yourself. All right, so my name is I'm Asoko Victor. Uh, I'm a gospel minister by the grace of God. I've been doing music for quite a while now, I started when I was a child, and God has been helping me up to this point. Okay, awesome. Um, that leads us to the next question I have for you. So just get ready, I have a list of questions for you. I hope you pass through these exams. Okay, so, so what inspires you? What was your push? What made you to start music, even at a very young age? Alright, so as I just said from my introduction, I studied music at a very young age one of my inspiration was basically the environment i found myself in okay. you know so starting up as a in church so we we're giving room to actually explore mm. so there was a wide range of things we could do so i fell into that unit and i began to grow over time keep learning keep pushing mm. so met some guys there that actually helped me out that was one of the greatest push i had okay. to say okay i'll work on this part wow awesome okay. i like the fact that you pointed that um you were learning so it's very important when you pick up something, you discover I'm good in this. So you have to learn and build up that skill. And also the fact that you have people around you that you can actually grow it. So this is a very good one. I hope everyone's actually picking things and learning from Victor. Okay, so apart from that, I'll ask you, there are people we look up to in that particular environment in your church. Who are some of these people that actually inspired you, that actually pushed you? All right, so there were four of them. Four of them started off with my music director back then in the Children and Teens Choir, mm -hmm. Sachima. I uh, can't forget him in my life story. Then moving up to a particular team that called themselves the Apostle to them, mm. Apostle William, Apostle Fine, and Apostle Dozi. Mm. Those guys were my greatest inspiration. Looking up to them, I go back home, I try the things I, I see them doing mm. up there, and he kept giving me the zeal to keep pushing up, not to stop. Not to not stop. Not to stop. <laughs> okay, never stop moving. <laughs> because sometimes we are getting the push we want from some people, but I feel sometimes you get overwhelmed and then you decide to slap back. Yeah, yeah, most times it happens that way. Yeah, it happens okay. that way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so you write music? Yes, I do. Okay, so what's like one of the favorites you've written? Uh, one of my best is The Presence. The Presence is one of my one of my best. Okay. One of my best. And before I, 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 I go forward, I would like to say I also work with the team. So mm. we have some couple of sound out there that can also bless life. Okay, yeah. awesome. So we'll be ready before we can. I'm sure you are going to lead us into the present. We'll get right. to hear what the present sounds like. Right. Okay. okay. Um, I also want to find out, so how was it growing up and then your family, your parents, your mom and dad, how did you feel when you said, okay, I wanted to do music? Okay, uh, first, first of all, it started in the church. Okay. So I, 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 I could never one of those um, scenarios where uh, the children during Children's Day, mm. we don't have service. We organize the service, coordinate the service mm. in the big church. So one of those days, I stood up out there and I did one or two. Uh, when I went back home that day, it was so beautiful because wow. I was like, wow, wow, wow. So from there, I kept pushing. Mm. Uh, so one thing about my parents I love so much is that they gave me the liberty. I could go out there and do what I want and come back. Mm. As long as this church is music, they give me the liberty to do what I want. Okay, awesome. All right, so it's very good to have this program. Um, parental support, it's also very, very important. Now, let me come to the final and the last question. Okay, so we all have dreams and we have we hope to see them move bigger and greater. So what are like, should I say your plans? Um, do you have events? Do you have, what like what was like the bigger picture of this ministry that you're into? What's the big picture you see for it? All right, so for myself, uh, the center of everything we do, basically, as a gospel minister is Christ. Okay. So the greater picture I have for this stuff is, is to see how I can actually enlarge this stuff so that more lives can be blessed to reach out to the world to the world at large. That is the greater picture and preach Christ to the world. And also 
we are also with a team and the thing we also we are already doing great things all right now we have so many plans we are we are propagating the, uh, the gospel and the name of the thing is gospel preschool so we are doing so much at this at this present time and we're open to enlarge it there's already a, a blueprint for it already or when it begins to unveil, it will begin. It will be known to the world. When All right. To okay. I like yeah. that. When it begins to unveil, the world will get to find out about yes, okay. um, yes. the gospel. Gospel praise club. Gospel praise club. Now this is awesome. I like the fact that you see something, you have something, and then you're hoping to see it grow. Thank you so much, Victor. Thank you, okay. Father. So I'll say a big shout out to Victor. A big shout out to the gospel praise club. And to those people who inspire you, I hope and you that you don't forget them I in your life story, just like you said. <laughs> okay, so Victor, you promised us the presence. Can we hear that? All right, so I think I'll just I'll just do a bit of it. Okay, I, I no love problem. This very All right. Right. So we need you, God. We need you, God. Your presence. Your presence. We need you, God. Lord, we need you, God. Oh, da, 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 da. Your presence, your presence, here we are. Oh, God, here we are. Jesus, your presence, your presence. The song goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Oh, and on. Oh, and thank yeah. you so much, Victor. And this is a very big reminder. Looking at the conditions that Angela is into, obviously, our world needs the Lord. We need yes. you, God. Mm-hmm. We need your presence over our economy, over our families, mm-hmm. and over everything. Thank you so much, Victor, for that mm-hmm. reminder. I'm so excited you came around. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so dear viewers, this is where we're going to cut it on the show. Thank you for staying tuned, and I hope you enjoyed every part of the segment. I hope you're learning and you're you're inspired. Now, this is what I want you to understand, that as young as you might be, you have dreams, you have hopes, so many things you want to do. Do not, do not get discouraged because you can do it. Victor, did it? You can do it. So this is a big shout out to all the young artists out there seeking to come and let the world hear the beautiful things they have stored inside of them. Thank you so much for staying tuned and I hope that you do not forget to share your comments on the comment segment and do not forget to stay tuned to the YouTube channel by subscribing. You'll get access to the Value Chain TV News Update by 7 where all the stories you discuss on the newspaper review will be given details into. Do have a great day ahead. I remain patient, Moses.